Cruz, it's Eleanor McGarry, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator from Canada. In today's Make a Card Sunday, I'm going to show you a really quick card using the Quiet Meadow um, stamp set and the Meadow dies that come part of the set. Now this um, stamp set will carry over into the new catalog. This, of course, is the old catalog that ends at the end of this month, April 2022. This is the new catalog. I can show you the outside, but I can't show you the inside yet. I've already like gone through it and tabbed what I wanna show you next month and some more tabs on the side here so I can easily find things. But this this stamp set will carry on to the new catalog, thankfully, because I love it. And I will feature, use uh, in this video, I will feature the Tasteful Textiles embossing folder. This retires, so you have until the end of April to buy this because this is not going to carry over into the new catalog but there will be some new ones and i'm very excited to show you those next month so let's get started on this quick card tutorial the first layer of a card is going to be plain white embossed you can see with the tasteful textiles embossing folder that is retiring and we're going to use a uh, calypso coral and granny apple green to just bring in some color into this plain white. And then um, this is the splatter stamp that is part of the stamp set. So I'm going to ink that up with some of the granny apple green and just stamp like so. I just want to give it some splatter look there onto the card. So that is the start of what the card is going to look like. And then we're going to bring in the flowers and the leaves, which we are going to cut out using the Meadows dies. I've already gone ahead and cut out some of the leaves from the die set. This is the die set that comes with the bundle. If you get the bundle, you will get 10% um, off. So it's the way to go because when the new catalog comes out in next month, in May, you can still get this, but you can't get it as a bundle. So you are going to miss out on the 10% savings. So I've cut out some pieces and I'm going to leave the stems that with the leaves just plain white, but I am going to take this and I'm going to go ahead and use granny apple green ink and, uh, blending brush to add color to that. So we are going to turn this into, sorry, um, I keep dropping things for some reason, into green. So just go ahead and load up your blending brush and just use it to add color to that dye that you cut in plain white, turning it into this. I love the way cutting um, dies on plain white cardstock are easily turned any color you want using the blending brushes and your color of ink. Very fast. So this is our layer that we're going to continue to decorate. I've already gone ahead and stamped the Thinking of You greeting from the stamp set on black cardstock and embossed it in white embossing powder and I'm going to go ahead and glue that on first. That's the first thing I'm going to glue because I want to be able to make sure that I work around this greeting and put my image around this greeting in such a way that it isn't covered up. I know the greeting is going to be there. That's where I want it to go. And um, we are going to use these flowers that I've gone ahead and stamped 
in black memento ink and used the Stampin' Bloods in Calypso Coral for the flower and Granny Apple Green for the centers. And that, of course, is the flower that is part of the stamp set. And I'm going to want to just curl those so that it gives it some dimension. Let's go ahead and curl that using our Take Your Pick tool or a pencil or a pen will work as well. Anything that you could use to curl your edges. And then I'm going to go ahead and decide where I want these to go. Now, I do know that this is going to be too long because I don't want anything showing under here. So let's go ahead and cut it up a little bit because we don't need all of it. I'll want something there. And this I'm going to kind of divide into two because I know I'm going to want a leaf sticking out that way. And this is going to be here popped up with dimensionals. And another one will be here, but I don't want this space all kind of empty there. So I know that's going to be there. And maybe I want a little bit more of something white peeking through there. So just go ahead and snip a little bit off of that. So that's approximately what it's going to look like when it's all glued down. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down now. So one of the one of the fastest ways that I know to assemble my card is once I have the placement down and I know I'm happy where, with where that goes, I just take tape and I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down because the flowers are going to be here covering that tape anyway. And at least now I know all I need to do is add glue to the backs of these leaves and stems and glue it down and I'm good to go. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, now once I have those set where I want them to go, now all I need to do is add my flowers and I'm going to go ahead and use dimensionals for that. Just one in the center. And I might want to just go ahead and try and curl the edges again so it's got that nice three-dimensional curve on the outer edges. And of course, I had wanted it to go here in there. So let's go ahead and adhere our flowers, making sure you don't hide any of any part of that greeting. And this will go right here. Let's kind of, that's where I want, let's put it over top. So that's where I want that to go. And our very last um, step is we are going to go ahead and glue that to our base card, which of course is Calypso Coral. So this is a very quick card, but my Make a Card Sunday video tutorials are aimed to give you an idea of just a quick card you can create using one of our stamp sets. There's nothing too difficult, but gives you an idea of something you can do for your cards. So there's the finished product and I did do it in two more colors and I'm going to show you those two colors in the next second here. I forgot I wanted to add some more accents here. So our rhinestone, our basic rhinestone gems are perfect to add just a little bit of design. So let's do one there. Adding it, just adding a little bit of glue just so that I know it's not going to go anywhere because these rhinestone gems have been sitting in my stash for quite some time. 
um, and I don't want, I don't know if the glue is dried and I want to be able to make sure that that gem does not go anywhere when I mail this card. I put too much glue on there. Let's scrape some off with our fingers. Our fingers are our best tools. So there's the finished product. Very fast and easy. And like I said, I did it in two more colorways. This is the Calypso Coral. This is it using the Bumblebee. This Bumblebee car stock retires at an end of this month. So if you want any of that, order it before the, by the end of April. And this is Misty Moonlight, and that as well retires at the end of this month. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Again, I used a Quiet Meadow stamp set and the Retiring Tasteful Textiles folder. If you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'd love it if you did. The subscribe button is on the bottom right-hand side. If there's anything I can help you with and you don't yet have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada, please comment below and I... I will answer any of your questions and help you with any of your stamping needs. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great Sunday.